Okay, another couple minutes we're going to get started. Just wanted to uh, check with everybody in the back, make sure mics are working, everything like that. But we've got another two minutes and we'll get things going here, okay? Mic check. One, two, three. I've never been accused of being quiet, Woody. That's amazing. <laughs> Hello? One, two, three. Alrighty, welcome everybody. Obviously, it's an exciting day here at Marshall University. I'm the Associate Athletic Director of Communications, Grant Trailer. Uh, obviously, seeing these guys right to my left here brings a lot of excitement. There's a lot of new at Marshall University. It's been an exciting first month for me here too as well. Uh, our rundown today is going to be uh, Mr. Spears. We're going to have him open up with uh, some comments and he will introduce Gregory Beals as the 29th head baseball coach at Marshall University. We'll talk to Mr. Beals, and then we'll have a quick Q&A afterwards. Following the ceremony, we'll come over here, and uh, media members can come over here, and we will talk to Mr. Beals and Mr. Spears off to the side as well. Without further ado, Marshall Director of Athletics, Christian Spears. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today on a Friday. Just so appreciate everyone coming together uh, you know, for a great announcement. It's a great day. For Marshall University. Uh, let me start by saying uh, to the baseball team, thank you guys for being here, trusting us, giving us the deference to go and find you guys a great coach. The conversations we had from the beginning, I just really appreciate the time you took to explain to me what you were looking for. I think I met those things that you asked us to do, to find in the person that would lead you. Uh, so just so appreciative that you're all here today. Uh, so please express to the teammates that aren't back until Sunday uh, just how, how uh, how much I appreciate it. And to the staff that managed uh, the transition at such a high level, I'm so thrilled to see you all here today as well. Thank you for what you did to lead our program in the interim. And I just can't thank you guys enough. So let's start with the leadership of Marshall University. You know, 11 months ago, I had an opportunity to come uh, and work here under the leadership of Brad Smith. And he is just one of the most extraordinary people I've ever been around in my life. And you know, we made the decision to look for new leadership in our baseball program. And he asked me a question. He asked me, you know, what are the principles that you're going to utilize to address and find our next head coach? What are those principles for you, Christian, so that I can help you as we meet with candidates that are interested in being our 29th head coach? And I told him I was looking for somebody that would genuinely connect to people. Our, t our student athletes, our coaching staff, this community. I told him I was looking for someone who would embrace Huntington and make this place his home and bring his family with him and that they too would adopt us and become Huntingtonians. I told him I was looking for someone who had a sincere and genuine passion to lead a program that deserves to be a winner, uh, that's about to embark on something super special when we're building a ballpark that we've all waited for for decades. And I told him someone, I wanted someone that understood the purpose of what we really do. And that purpose is we help young people reach their full potential. And that the decisions that we make impact the lives of other people's children. And that 
purpose can never, we can never waver from it. And can we find someone that does that? Uh, so Brad, along with Coach Huff, along with Andrew Brown, and then along with our consultant, Joe Carbone, helped me pull together a group of candidates and finally the 29th head coach of Marshall Baseball, Greg Beals, because he met each and every one of those principles that we discussed together when we made the decision. More than anything else, uh, what I've learned through this process of hiring my very first head coach here at Marshall is you have to have the right amount of courage. So many people, when they have an opportunity to be a head coach, they don't talk about the things that we can do. They talk about the things that we can't do. The right amount of courage is critical. So many folks talk about the right competencies. There are just certain things that I don't know. And then there are other people who come into a room and say, what I do know. Oftentimes, we talk about the confidence to lead a program. People like to focus on the things that we don't have. And then others people see the things that we do have. Oftentimes, you're looking for someone who is uber competitive. You need to be competitive. A lot of people talking about going into the Sun Belt Conference for the first time with a baseball program without a field. And how in the heck could we do that? And then others step up and say, I know we can do that, and I know we will do that. Coach Beals came in with, we can, I know, we have it, and we will do it. And that alone put us on a path to announce him as our 29th head baseball coach for Marshall University. He brings his unbelievably great family with him. Uh, you know, Kathy, Kayla, Amber, and Morgan. I'm so thrilled that you're a part of our team here in Huntington. You're always welcome, no matter where you choose to live your lives. We can't wait for you to come into our brand new ballpark. Uh, when we throw out that first pitch in February of 2024, we'll expect you all there. And I know you'll be here along the way as we're, as we're playing our games at Route 2 and, and down at, uh, at the Dirty Birds Park. We're, we're excited to, to have you be a part of our family. Uh, without further ado, please allow me to introduce the 29th head baseball coach of Marshall University, Greg Bills. Let's get a photo real quick. Yeah. New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Yeah. If I'm a baseball guy, so I need a couple seconds here to get the brim right before I put it on. Um, so, man, I'm excited to be here. And so many, so many people to thank um, for this moment. And, you know, first want to, you know, want to thank the president and his leadership. Man, that's a special guy. And, and I had the opportunity to meet him uh, on my interview, and, and he asks real questions and makes you think. Um, so I know we are in uh, very, very good hands from the leadership from the top. So President Smith is phenomenal. I look forward to working for him. And A.D. Spears and just the energy and the vision that he has, not just for our athletic department, but specifically our baseball program, um, had me, in, like, in. So excited about, excited about that opportunity to work um, with those two special people at the top. Um, also got to mention Andrew Brown, who's going to be my uh, sports supervisor and my direct connect with the administration. He's just been phenomenal for, uh, for me in this process. His leadership and communication through this has uh, certainly made it as smooth as possible. Thank you back there. I look forward to... Uh, a lot of work together. Uh, and uh, Coach Joe Carbone, uh, Coach and I go back quite a ways. Um, and just, you know, grateful for him. And uh, he has seen me from a player to a coach to an assistant coach to a head coach and all that. And uh, like I said upstairs, I, I'm sure he lit some fires on both sides of, of this equation to, to get us here. So 
thank you for that confidence. Uh, that means a lot as a, as a colleague and a friend, so thank you. Um, bear with me a little bit because I'm an emotional guy. I'm a very passionate, and we got to talk about family. And Christian, thank you for uh, introducing my family. Uh, this doesn't happen without that. There's uh, checks and sign-offs that go along before a uh, coach makes a decision on, on moving uh, and taking on this opportunity. And uh, it's a great opportunity that I was working hard in the family for the whole way, and, and I got full approval. And so thanks to uh, Kath and the girls. <laughs> so we'll be here. And family is, is very, very important. We're going to talk more about that as I go through this. So, you know, why Marshall? And there's so many things. This is a very exciting time at Marshall University. The leadership from the president, the leadership here in the athletic department. Uh, we're moving into a new conference. We're building a new stadium. Um, there is just so much to be excited about and to, to look forward to. And for me, it was a no-brainer. I mean, it really was a no-brainer decision um, to be here. I talked about the first email I sent, and I used the word special, that there's a special opportunity here. And I have felt nothing shy of that, from interview process to meeting people in the community to meeting the other coaches in, in the department starting to meet, you know, the coaching staff in, in, in the baseball program and, and players. Um, special is still the word, and, and that there's a great community here, and uh, that, that's something that we look forward, my family and I look forward to, to joining. Um, who am I? You know, I've been introduced as a 29th baseball coach here at Marshall University. That's, that's what I am. And that's my, my, my task professionally. I, I want to talk a little bit about who I am. And, you know, I, I, I'm a believer. My faith is important to me. My family is dear, dear, dear to me. Very, very important. And those things uh, are, my, are my lead core values. And baseball is right there, right there behind that. Um, this game of baseball is very important to me. It's been my life. And there's two things that I'm going to be true to all the way to the end. That's the game of baseball. And that's to the student athletes that are in our program. Those two things will never falter as far as my thoughts are. I'm going to take care of the game, and I'm going to take care of my guys. Um, you're getting a program builder. You're getting a guy that believes in player development. You're getting a, a coach that believes in student athletes. The whole idea of student athletes, what we learn and how we grow as young men, you're getting somebody that believes in that, somebody that believes in intercollegiate athletics, all right, um, and how we utilize that, that opportunity in intercollegiate athletics, that opportunity as student athletes to put ourselves in a position to be elite. And gentlemen, you're going to hear that word a lot, the word elite, because we're pushing for that. And elite is a high-level word. Um, you guys have seen it on the text change. You've seen that word already. You're going to keep hearing it. I love my job. Burning passion for the game of baseball. Fundamental belief in education and student athletes. Put the two together and put a group of young men in a great spot. That's what my charge is going to be. We've got big dreams. We've got dreams of playing for championships. We've got dreams of playing professionally. Those guys do. We've got big dreams. And we're going, to be, we're going to chase those dreams, and we're going to be in a great position on and off the field when the race is done. I promise you guys that. Our core values inside our baseball program are going to be elite preparation, competitive toughness, and brotherhood. All right? You break it down, prepare, compete, and be teammates. Pretty simple, pretty old school. The other words that we tie along with that are very, very important to me. I've used the word elite already. That's a choice we all get to make every day, whether we're going to be elite. I'm going to work hard to teach these young men how to be in, be in an elite mindset on a daily basis. That's going to drive our training. That's going to drive the dude inside of us, is that elite mindset. So the word elite is just as important as preparation. The word toughness is important, along with our competition. Our toughness is a, is a 
mental thing, not a physical thing. In the game of baseball, we've got to be able to respond. Every 20 seconds is a new pitch, a new competitive opportunity, a new situation, and we've got to be able to get there every 20 seconds. That takes a toughness. So when we talk about competitive toughness, that's what I'm talking about. And then we use the word brotherhood more so than team, all right, because a brotherhood brings out a family, the idea of family. And uh, we're gonna, we have a group of young men that chose to come here, chose to come to Huntington, West Virginia, chose to come to Marshall University. So we've got commonalities. We've all made this decision to be here, and we're going to attack it together uh, with a family mindset together. Is critical there. I, I think it's pretty cool, and I've never been, in, you know, in an athletic department that had a nickname and a mascot that was plural, or that was, you know, there's no such thing in the herd. Like one, one doesn't make a herd, right? So you can't watch one bison, right? If one bison go down the street and call it a herd, right? But you know, the Buckeyes. There's a Buckeye. There it goes. You know, where uh, the herd is a group. And I love that idea. We're going to be a group. We're going to do it together. And uh, nobody gets to their best spot in their world, in the game, in, in your education, in your social lives, in anything professionally you do. You don't get there by yourself. And we are the herd, and we're going to be that together. That's going to put us all in a great spot. I love that concept of that, that word, the herd. So I might be using that more than team. That might go into the, the core value instead of brother. I don't know. But I, I love that, that word and that, and that idea of being a herd. On the field, we got some work to do, but you're going to see a well-prepared, tough-minded team that thrives on competition. Anybody that knows and been around Coach Beals, I love to compete. We get a ping-pong game going on. We play a game of euchre or something like that. It's on. If there's a scoreboard, it's on. We're playing to win. Uh, so I'm going to keep tapping into the dude inside of us to compete all the time, too. So that's what you're going to see on the baseball field. Uh, I, I want to thank the current staff. These guys are here today. We had a chance to meet for a couple hours this morning. Um, man, I really appreciate the work you guys have done to uh, keep the preparation going. And uh, this team, these guys right here deserve 23. They deserve the best we got. And there's big plans for the future. But my number one responsibility is to have you guys ready for February 17th and to be ready to compete right now. And we can do both. We can build the future and be locked and loaded, ready to go this year too. And we're going to do that. And uh, thank you guys. I look forward to uh, continuing to work together. Um, fun conversations ahead. Talking baseball in that office, there's fun conversations ahead. You know, I need to, I need to comment on some of the guys that have gone before me. And, and Coach, Coach Jeff Wagner was here, and I, and I appreciate his stewardship over this program for the last 16 years. Um, and, you know, Jack Cook is another one. And I, I, I didn't have a, a great um, relationship, didn't really know Coach Cook, but I have a very, very strong understanding of the legacy that is here, that he has left here in this program. And that's where we need to get to. That's the vision. We've got to talk about championships. We've got to talk about representing this great university in the national tournament. We've got work to do, but that's the direction that we're headed. Um, and I'm really excited uh, to do that. My family's all here. I'm here. We are Marshall. Thank you very much. So we're, we're open for questions now. Yes, sir. Yeah, take ownership. I said it in that talk right there. We all decided to be here. We all decided to be here, and we're going to take ownership in that, and we've got to prepare ourselves. We all know that we've got this indoor facility. We've got a weight room. We've got the ability to go out to Route 2 and prepare. We're going to go into Charleston and compete, and that, that's it, and we have to embrace it and own it. We can go take ground balls. We're going to get plenty of swings in. We've got bullpens to throw in. We'll be ready to go. There are, there, you know, when we play St. Louis opening day, right, 
There's no excuses on, on, on that day. There cannot be any excuses. So we need to embrace where we're at in the process that, that we've chosen to do. And this team's got talent. There's talent here. And, and so we need to put all that stuff behind, and we need to put ourselves locked in on a future mindset, on a readiness mindset, on an elite mindset of what can I do to get better, to make me better and make the herd better, and do that daily. That's the elite mindset, and we're going to push that. No doubt. No, we'll do that. And I've got, you know, I've got a track record of, of knowing how to prepare a team indoors. I've done it my entire career, and that, that doesn't concern me at all. And we've got four weeks of preseason before we get into the conference to play teams and prepare as well. So um, we'll, we'll take that on. But there's going to be work getting done. We're going to be hitting balls in all corners of that indoor facility. And we get some weather and, and get the opportunity to go outside, we, you know, we'll certainly do that as well. But we will we'll be busting our tail to make sure we're ready to go. <laughs> you should get up here and explain that. He talked about the first time he saw me when my shin guards were taller than my legs were when, you know, I was an old catcher. And, um, no, I mean, Coach Carbone recruited me out of high school, um, and I chose a different school than the school he was at. And uh, amazingly enough, we've still been friends and, um, and, and colleagues. And I, and I think it simply falls down to just we believe in a lot of the same things. We've, been, we've seen each other coach and around the baseball field, and there's a significant amount of common and no doubt respect for each other. and um, But there's a lot of years in that. And that's why it means so much to me for him to just put his name and say Greg Beals is the right guy because he's seen Greg Beals all along. Coach, how much, uh, how much of motivation was to put your kind of imprint on this program with the new stadium and what you can do and maybe even leave a, leave a legacy if things go like you want? Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking about a legacy yet. We got, you know, we got a team meeting on Monday at three o'clock, and you know we got to get that mapped out and and get our our indoor workouts mapped out for for next week. Um, looking at this, you see the conference, you see the stadium coming. It's very exciting. There's no reason why it can't happen here, and I've played these Marshall teams over the past. There's talent here. This this team has the ability to win. We're going to surprise some people because I know the talent, the preparation level is going to be different. And uh, I'm excited to go uh, wake some people up. I've got a scouting report on them. So, and every time I felt we did the scouting report three times last year, and every time I did a scouting report, I was like, these guys can beat you. We've got guys that can hit the ball out of the ballpark like that. We've got guys that can run bases and steal bases, get in scoring position. We've got guys on the bump that can put zeros on the board. Uh, there's a, those guys are right here right now to do that. And me and the coaching staff, the guys back there, we're going to help make sure that those guys are prepared and know how they're going to go about competing so that, we turn, we flip the switch and win more games than, than, than we're supposed to and, and find a way to be on the plus side of, of tight ball games. And the way you do that is having a very full, strong understanding of who you are and how you compete. I think it's going to be very similar. Um, the Sun Belt's rated higher. It's a, it's a, you know, the ranking of, in the RPI rankings, the Sun Belt is a, is a higher ranked conference um, than, than the Big Ten. Every conference you go to, three game series, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, is great competition. And it doesn't matter who you're going to go play in your conference, um, you better be ready to answer the bell. And so that's, uh, that's, that's it. I'm not trying to compete against anyone. I'm trying to make sure that these, Guys, 
are ready to go each weekend and they're prepared. We will compete. Well, first thing I'll say is for about the last 15 years, I've been recruiting against this stadium that's going to be built. And, and, and finally, it's, it's reality. And we're, you know, we're actually going to be able to recruit with it. Um, it's certainly going to help. Um, and I'm excited about the brand that we have. Our brand is going to allow us to reach and, and go where we need to, to, to find players. And it's an idea of finding the right player. Um, there's baseball players, a lot of baseball players out there. I want to find the right guy, a guy that wants to compete, the guy that's, that has the – first of all, it starts with talent. You've got to have the ability to, to compete in this tough conference. But then I want to find the right young man, and it doesn't matter where he's at. I'd love to have a serious presence in West Virginia and in this tri-state area. And, you know, we need to have a presence in our backyard. But we've got an incredible brand that's going to allow us to reach out and get players from where we need to to – put together a, a very competitive and a team that's going to play for championships here soon. Yeah, Trace wants to know where we're playing golf when he comes back to town. <laughs> Trace, Trace can absolutely destroy a golf ball. And, you know, Trace was my closer for a couple years. And then right after him was Seth Kinker, another guy um, from, from right here. So, um, again, we have, we have more to keep those guys here. We need to have some of that local flavor. We've got to keep those guys close. It's great competitors. Both those guys, number one thing about them, compete. Seth Kinker was an All-American, didn't throw a ball over 91 miles an hour. Um, but... He threw from a three-quarter slot, and he pounded a strike zone. He spun a breaking ball in there whenever he wanted to. Two-pitch mix, really, really good, high execution, um, but a great competitor. Um, and compete, competing is about learning. Like, it's easy to say, we're going to compete. Well, I'm gonna, you know, but true, great competitors are extremely self-aware. They know what their strengths are. They know what their weaknesses are. They figure out a way to manipulate that and get themselves positioned in the game properly. That's what we've got to teach these guys, how to take their gifts and their abilities and maximize them in competition. <laughs> and we had tried the game plan, and I think it's pretty fitting with Mr. Beals here. The sun's obviously shining on Marshall Baseball today. And yeah. Thank you all very much for coming. Uh, Mr. Spears and Mr. Beals, uh, Beals will be available uh, here in just a second for media members that want to tear down and get cameras ready. We'll shift up here. Uh, thank you once again, and go hurt. Thank you.